I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about goiters. Yeah, so goiter um, is a word that I've heard my entire life, and I was a little confused on what it means, but I've read about it, and it simply means big thyroid. What, was that what a goiter is? Yeah. Here's just sort of a picture of what a normal thyroid looks like. And then here, look what, and this isn't a big goiter. This is just multiple nodules within the thyroid gland, but that's, that's what most people have with a goiter is what's called a multinodular goiter. And these lumps being nodules, so multiple nodules in a big thyroid is a multinodular goiter. Goiter, that's right. And is it dangerous? It's not dangerous. In fact, in most circumstances, it's without any symptoms to a patient unless it becomes so big that it becomes recognizable to them. But they can have symptoms of pressure. They can have, sometimes they're even found because they may have got a CAT scan of their chest and the goiter is so big that it's extending underneath their breastbone, underneath their sternum. Right, so, so my mom had a large goiter and I, they, they figured it out because when she was sleeping, laying down flat at night, she felt like she couldn't breathe sometimes. Is that a symptom of a goiter? Yeah, it, it can make you feel like uh, you're, you're uncomfortable in your breathing, you're uncomfortable in your swallowing. And that's just because the, goi the thyroid got, the goiter got, got big. But all goiters don't get big. All goiters don't have to be removed, do they? All goiters don't need to be removed. And so frequently they can just be watched with an ultrasound and make sure they're not getting big. But if you think about it, it's sort of almost like clapping hands. If it keeps getting big, what's in between it? And what's in between it is the trachea and the esophagus. And so it can, if both sides of the goiter keep getting big and it's pushing and it has limited area to push, it can start pushing on those very important things in the middle. So it sounds to me like most goiters, we can ignore them because they're not that big, but if they get big enough to the point where they cause problems with breathing or sleeping or swallowing, then it'd be a reason to remove it. Right. Symptoms are breathing, swallowing, even discomfort on, you know, swallowing. And sometimes it's just a cosmetic thing. I mean, sometimes it's, you know. It just a, looks like this big goober a, sticking out of your neck. A, a big, huge lump there, and right. people don't want it anymore. So um, a minute ago, you mentioned something about the the thyroid, the goiter going down underneath, underneath the sternum, underneath the breastbone. Um, do you need to like split the sternum open, like open heart surgery to get it out? Or, or if, if, the, if the goiter's down in the chest, do you need to open the chest to get it out? We've talked about this on our other videos, which you can look at, but you gotta find the right surgeon. So even though it will look really, really bad to some people. You know, like a CAT scan or something? Yeah, you know, you'll, you'll see it's laying on top of the aorta, the blood vessel that comes off of the heart, it's sitting next to the lungs, all those different things, but. On the CAT scan, it makes it look mis terrible. It makes it, it makes it look like this big, big, huge, awful thing, which it may be for the patient, but it's a relatively straightforward surgery with the right surgeon, it's just removed. You don't need to open up the chest, you don't need to do a big, 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 huge, massive incision. You just need to deliver it out. Sometimes we even name these things after I do the surgery. Because they're so big, you're like delivering a baby? Yeah. That's, that's pretty funny. So most of the time, substernal, they call them substernal goiters, right? You don't need to split them. You can you bring almost all of them removed out to the neck, right? I'm sure there'll be eventually one over the course of my career that may not want to do but in so. But in the million that you've done, you, I, I haven't seen it yet. Pull them all out. So that you don't need to split the, st the sternum open. I don't pull it out, though. I... You deliver them <laughs> and name them. 